Hello, everyone. Today is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Friday, March 11th, 2022 at 10.50 a.m. in the morning. Excuse me. Well, I was able to sleep a little better yesterday. Well, I mean, well, last night. And... I'm glad that I wasn't awakened this morning with a loud face, but I woke up at about 8.30 and couldn't go back to sleep. Last night, I tried to go to bed about 10.30 or 11 o'clock, but I don't know what time I went to sleep, what time I fell asleep. I think I didn't fall asleep until at some time after midnight or something, but um, probably took longer than that. But um, I didn't eat breakfast yet this morning, and it's close to lunchtime. So, um, I mean, I have enough money to pay for another week to stay here. And, um, but I heard a little bit of bass, loud bass music off and on this morning, but it was already after I woke up, but I still hate it, you know. And I think I heard some loud bass music that startled me sometime after midnight last night also. So, um, you know, these inconsiderate demons need to be put to a stop. So, um, I don't have, I mean, I guess I don't have all that much to say. Maybe I do, but sometimes I don't end up thinking of a topic until, you know, later on as I'm going along with talking in my video <clears throat> but um I'm still sleepy and tired but y'all know how that is if I wanted to go to sleep probably couldn't fall fall back asleep but <clears throat> I well last night I just had canned ravioli which hasn't been the normal me for a long time but you know, due to financial circumstances, I'm forced to, you know, go back to my old diet. You know, when I was poor and living in Denton, Texas, it wasn't uncommon for me to eat canned ravioli. But, you know, for the past several years and trying to be health conscious or try to, you know, focus on natural health, I would try to stay away from canned ravioli or something like that um, <clears throat> and you know try to stay away from burgers and fries or pizza I seldom eat hot dogs really anymore either but you know <clears throat> excuse me I think the ravioli was one probably one of those 10 for 10 items at when Dixie so it's like I guess I'm just forced to, you know, depend on unhealthier food to survive because of, you know, the, the um, you know, the little bit of spare money that I have. But it's all right. I'm surviving. <clears throat> but certain foods I've been craving like a drug lately. But, you know, I'm trying to prepare myself for when the you know what really does hit the fan and there are no restaurants or grocery stores and you have really not much of anything to eat and you're you know dealing with desperateness for daily survival so um so i mean last night i had ravioli and, I mean, I had some um, 
the last of the veal meatballs with some barbecue sauce on it. Well, mustard, honey mustard barbecue sauce on it. And I had the small little cup of green beans. And I had three meals yesterday. But I guess today will be the day I have two because I didn't eat breakfast. But I am not going to lie. For, for the past whole week, I've been craving biscuits and gravy or craving some French toast or something like that or craving a good cheeseburger and fries or something like that. But, you know, I just, you know, it's not important, but my body's been, I don't know why, craving craving that kind of stuff like a drug. But I haven't had French toast in a I don't even remember when I last time I had French toast, but... I mean, I haven't had much pancakes in a while also, but I realize, you know, that stuff ain't really healthy for you. <clears throat> but, um, last week, I, I mean, this past Saturday, you know, I had, when I had the buffet, I had, the, um, you know, I had biscuits and gravy you know, and I don't remember off the hand what, I, what all I had, <clears throat> you know, for breakfast. I think I had, you know, breakfast and lunch at Golden Corral. But, um, because I came between breakfast and lunch. But they don't have brunch at Golden Corral, but they have breakfast and lunch. On, like, the breakfast buffet on Saturdays and Sundays. I thought they had it on Fridays, but not on Fridays, just Saturday and Sunday. <clears throat> but, you know, it was a rare treat. And so, um, you know, well, Wednesday, I had that appointment, so that's why I ate out then. But, you know, yesterday, I, I didn't spend any money at I mean, I didn't spend not one penny yesterday. I didn't spend any money at all yesterday. <clears throat> so, I've been feeling kind of frustrated and agitated and depressed about the, um, I mean, I've been stressing about the tax refund, even though it hasn't been three weeks, but I've been stressing about it. And um, I've been very much stressing about the tax refund. But, you know, tomorrow makes two weeks since I, you know, did, filed the taxes and stuff. So I'm starting to get kind of disgusted and frustrated and agitated. you know, getting disgusted and frustrated and agitated with, um, you know, stressing about the tax refund. But it's like, I'm starting to kind of give up on it because I'm hearing horror stories about how long certain people have to wait. So, I mean, <clears throat> I have just enough money to stay here for one week and then just barely enough that if I had to leave next Friday and be back on the streets again because of no more money then you know I would have just enough money or just barely enough money to get I mean to take the money and, you know, pack all my stuff, get an Uber or a cab, go to my storage unit, put all my stuff up, and then be back on the streets and be empty-handed. But, you know, I still got some canned food and some packaged food. Like, I'm living off of, you know, I think I got like three days worth of eggs left, or I can stretch it with one egg per day and be six days but I got like three three days left of eggs three to 
you know, I usually eat two eggs, but I've still got packets of farina, oatmeal, and um, farina, oatmeal, and grits. And I've been alternating throughout, you know, I've been alternating on the farina eggs and grits you know the instant package you put it in the microwave <clears throat> but i've been surviving and living off of that and uh, i wasn't even aware i didn't even realize that you can get groceries delivered to you so like when i did the taxes almost two weeks ago i physically went to winn dixie and you know got certain stuff but i think when you order through doordash or something I don't think you get, I mean, I think you get sales and discounts, but I don't think you get the exact same sales and discounts that you actually get when you're physically in the store. But I guess a $3.99 delivery fee is cheaper than a $17 Uber ride over there. So, I mean, I wasn't even, I wasn't even, you know, I didn't even realize that, oh, that's something I could have done. Just um order when dixie items online and have them delivered for 3.99 and but um so i mean but before then you know i was ordering out because remember i told y'all they got this one asian um, Chinese food stand right here and they have the Asian market over there but it's like raw meat that you have to cook and I just have a microwave and mini fridge so at first you know I was ordering food and I was then I was you know low on money and low on food and so it's like well I need I got to get me get to a grocery store so I won't have to order out I, I mean you know order you know delivery and stuff so I mean my money I mean you know it's been stretching me because <clears throat> I, I I mean I don't live physically near a major grocery store like Publix, Winn-Dixie, Walmart or none of those or even grocery outlet or whatever other grocery stores um but just that Asian market right there but they have raw meat and raw vegetables hardly any fruit and um but they got Walgreens and CVS. But you know how they're expensive they are. <clears throat> so, um, you know, I'm kind of starting to get kind of frustrated and wanting to just give up worrying about the doggone um, tax refund. But, you know, then I'll have to probably be back on the streets next week. I hope not. But, um, but, you know, I haven't, I mean, I've been, I wrote a fiction short story skit last night pertaining to targeted individuals. It was very short, but it wasn't how I really wanted it to come out. But, you know, most people on Twitter ignore me anyway. So I didn't, after what happened the last time, I didn't even bother trying to show trying to show people the skit that I wrote. But, um, <clears throat> so, I mean, that was a, you know, a fiction skit short story that I wrote. But, um, I, you know, I, I don't want my readers, you know, people to be bored out that um, if they're bored or tired out about, oh, well, Candy, you write about the same themes all the time. But I wanted something different. But, you, you know, if I were to try out something different or something that I don't have much experience in, well, um, you know, I kind of ran out of ideas of what fiction short stories to write about. But, um I haven't, my body is um, not mentally and physically able enough to um, 
work on a big fiction book and a big non-fiction book that I have been having planned. Um, so, I, I, I mean, I haven't been, you know, because the big non-fiction book and maybe the fiction book also, the big one, it's like I have some research that I have to do. And, you know, that takes some mental work and mental and physical, you know, I have to be very alert and just not weighed down and tired. I have to not be weighed down and tired in order to be able to focus, you know, on that kind of stuff. So, I mean, I've been doing like the past couple of days been working on certain recipes, even some non-food recipes. Well, you know, I think one or two non-food related recipes, but, you know, like detox bath recipe. But I've been mostly doing personal, you know, just blogging and journaling this week. But last night I wrote about, um, you know, I, I wrote about, you know, a targeted individual related skit. And I have two more skit things left um, that I was planning to do. Two more skit things. And so, you know, skits, I guess, would just dialogue. But, you know, people a lot of the times talk about how targeted individuals have natural God-given gifts and talents. But, you know, if narcissistic abusers think that I'm poor, that I have poor performance at everything, or they try to manipulate me into feeling that, you know, that I suck at everything or that I'm just not good at anything. And for those, all those years, I've been feeling like I don't know how to do anything or like I'm just not good in, at anything. Make it, making me feel like I don't really have much talent or skills at much of anything. And, um, <clears throat> and then if I try to go out of my shell and try something new and make a mistake the first time, I get devoured and attacked. I mean, but for me to, you know, write and stuff like that, it's like, I feel discouraged because the idea that, you know, people ignore me and they don't, they ignore not my writing, but they ignore me as a person. They ignore me as a person. So, um, which make me feel discouraged. But, you know, some people say, Keep writing and never stop writing. Um, but one thing I, I don't have much experience in is um, making music or working with instruments. And um, <clears throat> that's something I don't have any talent or skills in. But... Um, I'm I'm not a the best chef at cooking, but you know, people me being from New Orleans, people the first thing people expect is for me to know how to throw down. But one thing I know I'm good at with cooking is I'm pretty good at baking cakes, cookies, um, pies, personal like breads and um well, certain breads like i try to make a barley bread recipe or bread i mean cookies using barley flour and um i'm pretty good with the uh, soups and casseroles i know how to make smoothies and i like juicing but i don't have the equipment with all that and stuff or I know how to make crock pot soups and stuff, you know, but I mean, but, you know, a, a lot of people have an issue with me as a person, 
So, you know, if a, a narcissistic perp hates you, then they hate everything about you and er you're just horrible at everything according to their opinion, their narcissistic fake opinion, you, you know, they hate everything you do and say your your mere presence and your existence. And so some people want to say, well, it's your glow and they hate your glow and they hate, you, you know, that you're chosen. But it's like I'm made to feel like everything I do or say is bad or wrong. And, you know, everything I do or say gets criminalized. And so many people just hung up on worshiping punishment that they want to give, you know, consequences and punishments for everything I do and say that I deserve to just, you know, reprimand. And, and so, I mean, I do not fit in anywhere. And I don't even... I don't even try anymore to try to fit in anywhere. And so, um, but it's such a lonely, uh, a lonely, very lonely um, and depressing kind of life to live. I mean, but then again, it's easier to do quote unquote wrong when you're influenced by other people or when you're around other people, but when you're off to yourself, you know, if you're by yourself, people, there aren't really other people around. That's the benefit of being by yourself is there aren't people around to, to judge or condemn you or punish you for um, whatever you might do or say. But if you're by yourself, you know, other people can't, punish or condemn you, but God is always watching, even when you're by yourself. So, I mean, if, if I had, you know, oatmeal with peanut butter, for example, and if somebody has an issue with it, if I didn't say anything, that, then there's nothing they can complain about, because they don't know, they didn't know, because, but if they know about it, oh, they're going to huff and puff and you know, want to blow your house down because they feel like, how dare you, you know, eat a packet of oatmeal. You're supposed to be starving. While they can have their delicious, you know, fancy luxury brunches and the elegant brunches that, you know, <clears throat> and wine and dine and have their mimosas and cocktails but I better not drink not a sip of that beer <laughs> and I'm 38 years old. You know, I would get shunned if I got a mem if I ordered a mimosa or a cocktail at a restaurant and I never do. You know, I don't even drink at all. But, you know, it's like even with my biological family, it's like they want to try to set me up to do wrong or make a mistake to make a fool out of me so they can have things to talk about or even try to set me up to get arrested and go to jail so that they can have something to laugh about. But then, you know, if I on my own free will wanted to drink a, a, a can of beer, you, you know, they would tell me, don't you dare do that. But they would create their own moment where they would try to have me set me up to drink a can of beer or something alcoholic on purpose so that they can gather around and laugh and make fun while they drink like it's normal and then they go and drive with heavy alcohol heavy liquor in their system while they driving and on their cell phone driving speeding like 90 on the highway where the where the limit would be 65 on the highway and they're speeding 90 to 100 and looking down at their cell phone and making you feel, and with a heavy alcohol in their system, and then making you feel unsafe on the road by telling somebody like me that you have no business driving. But then they would get jealous or laugh if they want to say, "Oh, you're driving too careful." But then they would, um, if I'm driving 40 miles per hour and the speed limit is 45, 
then they want to try to say slow down or the pol and they, they, or Mark would try to be like they go to police right there. Mark, I'm not speeding. What the hell are you talking about? But they just want to do and say stuff on purpose or try to manipulate you into feeling more unnecessarily and more nervous behind the wheel. And while all the while saying, well, you don't have the mentality or the sense to drive. While th or they try to dictate and control the volume. If I'm playing music, they want to try to be like, turn it down, 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 all the way. And it's like, well, you just, uh, well, why all that, for all that, just say, turn it off. And tell, say, say, down, turn it down, 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 down some more, down some more. But then they drive my car when I had a car and blast the music like ear splitting. Like, bum, 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 and you can't even hear the doggone lyrics. And you can't, hear, I mean, it's doggone despicable. You know, that they can live a carefree life and living it up and living it their best life and you have that yellow mentality and, you know, just living it up, trying to be as much of a hardcore, fake, want to be thug that they want to be while I'm expected to be perfect but I'm shunned for not being like them I'm shunned for not being like them but then if, if I try to if I get shunned for not doing the things that they do but then if I try to do the things that they do I, I mean if I try to you know do the right thing I get I just just they hate everything about people hate everything about me so, I guess I'll see y'all later because I don't want to feel like a dummy with this video cutting off.